Traditional use. Greater celandine has been used traditionally as an herbal remedy for liver diseases, many ailments of the digestive system, and for eye irritations. It was used internally to support the liver and bile duct and protect against liver damage caused by hepatitis. It has also been used to stimulate digestion and treating cramps related to the digestive system. The milky latex was used externally to remove warts, soften corns, and detach bad teeth. Current uses of greater celandine. The main active ingredient found in greater celandine is the alkaloid chalidinin, a substance not unlike papaverine found in the opium poppy, papaver somniferum. Chalidinin has an antispasmodic effect and seems to specifically target the bile duct and bronchi. Furthermore, the substance has mild tranquilizing properties. When greater celandine is used internally, its medicinal effect is rather unpredictable. This could be explained by the great difference in the herb's quality, which is mostly because any herbal preparations quickly lose their medicinal properties when stored, and also that there's still no proven methods to stabilize the active ingredients. The herb may retain its properties for up to approximately six months, but if stored longer its effect seems to decline rapidly. This is probably one of the reasons greater celandine has a rather ambiguous status among herbalists. Internal uses. When the herb is intended for internal uses it is considered to have somewhat limited value, and it is seldom used by herbalists on its own, but rather in combination with other medicinal herbs. Today, it is mainly used as an ingredient in herbal teas for its antispasmodic effect on the gallbladder and to stimulate bile flow, but since the content of the alkaloids and other ingredients in the plant varies so much, it is difficult to predict the effect. Still, there have been several studies that have shown that greater celandine has a rightful place in herbal medicine. One such study strongly indicated that the herb could be useful in the treatment of cramps-like conditions in the abdomen associated with irritable bowel syndrome. Another study found that when it was ingested in the form of cough syrup or extract, equivalent to 15 grams of herb PR. Day, it resulted in an overall improvement in about 80% of a group of patients suffering from chronic bronchitis. The plant has also been found to be an effective treatment for whooping cough. The German Commission E gives greater celandine the green light and recommends it as a treatment for cramping discomforts related to the bile ducts and the digestive tract. External use. Greater celandine has been used externally to speed up healing of minor wounds, cuts, and scrapes, and as a relief for skin problems such as eczema. The yellow milk sap from the plant is a strong corrosive substance that can dissolve warts and corns due to the action of protein-splitting enzymes. The herb has also antimicrobial effect and may be helpful as an external treatment for fungal infections. Greater celandine applications in Chinese herbal medicine In Chinese herbal medicine, the herb is used as an herbal remedy for gastritis, ulcers, enteritis, jaundice, abdominal pain, bronchitis, and whooping cough. The recommended daily dosages in China ranges from 3 to 9 grams of the herb, or even higher. These relatively high doses are mostly in the form of a decoction and can be justified by the fact that in this form not too much of the active alkaloid chelidonium is released. However, when greater celandine has been used in traditional Chinese herbal medicine, some patients have reported various degrees of side effects like dry mouth, dizziness, digestive discomfort, diarrhea, nausea and a slight reduction in the number of white blood cells. The symptoms disappeared normally in 3 to 5 days after the treatment ended. Bone health. In menopausal rats, scientists observed the potential of Ucrain, a drug based on celandine alkaloids, to increase levels of estrogen prevent bone mineral loss stimulate bone formation sanguinarine, an alkaloid from celandine, showed similar effects in rats and mice. Dosage the doses below used in clinical trials may not apply to you personally. If your doctor suggests using greater celandine, work with them to find the optimal dosage according to your health condition and other factors. In clinical trials, celandine was safe and effective in the following doses, gallbladder disorders, dry extract, 4 mg of alkaloids, 3-6 pills day, 3-6 weeks indigestion, abaragus 3 times 1 ml day, containing 0.3 ml celandine tincture European Medicines Agency, EMA, suggests the following doses of celandine, dried herb, 1.23.6 grams daily, as an infusion, tea, tincture, 2-4 ml daily, 1-5 dilution, or 6-12 ml daily, 1-10 dilution, in clinical trials with cancer patients, Ukraine, a drug based on celandine alkaloids, was injected under strict medical supervision.